Okay, here we go. Okay, <laughs> Everything needs to be working so far right now. And yes, I got the jumpers. Okay, it's me. Another not, not spear, buddy. Hey, buddy. Or this time, okay, we actually have crow online. Is it just turning morning? It is, okay. You say I get the prison present, but also I gotta get my rewards. Hold on. I literally have to make another chest. <laughs> oh, we actually got another item this time. We almost got more scraps. I won't be long now. There we go. Blinding. Blinking. Ow, what the? Oh, I get it. It's a teleporter. It's not a blinding ring, it's a... Oh, blinking, okay. I thought I said blinding for a minute. Whoa, okay. Ow. Whoa! Oh, decent. Oh. Might keep it just in case. This is my semi automatic at this farm. For now. Okay, let me click some sand on the other ones. So I'm thinking we should build the probably for the guys from probably around around here, I believe. This place doesn't, doesn't look as Byron as the others, or something. I also have a reason to come here, not just for the iron farm, but for other things as well. Why? So I'm literally just get the layout first. Okay, so before I had a, so I had a lot of time to start working on this thing, here's the actual layout. I have so far, so I'm gonna put like two blocks in between each stack that I plant, and I'm gonna dig like a hole two blocks tall, and dig another one so that when it falls, at least funnel into a water system and land to some kind of a chest of some sort. And it's a lot so far. So yeah. It's kind of visionary, the water will just go right here to flow all the cacti. I'm gonna mix out a glass plane still, like, so we take the cacti up here. But next to it, one block above to you, right, will be like the glass plants. So when the cactus starts to grow, it, then it'll still be broken by the glass plants and be flowing into the water system, which will then be flowing into the cactus over here. And the block, we have, we'll make a lot more stones as to go along. So yeah, just stick with me on this one. Wait, what? Okay, we're back. The server just crashed. Okay, the server just crashed. Okay, now we just be functioning normally. And Crow just joined in as well. <laughs> just, just. Oh, wait. Oh, is it not working? Okay. Does it not work anymore? Yeah, look, this is not Hold on. Why don't I put the torch in my hand and not this one? Oh. Yeah, nothing. It's a sleepless night. I don't have that. Okay, hold on. There we go, okay, now it's working. Don't know what happened there, but alright. Can I please pronounce this? This was crash the game? I think so. I don't know, I can't say for certain it is. There shouldn't be any surprises. Okay, good. So wait, hold on. That's a group. But anyway, finally, finish our little cactus farm planting air thing. Okay, got the double chest down there. Yeah, and we'll finally have a little setup area. I think yeah. All we gotta do is plant the cacti, and that should be it. 
Okay, so as I said before, the glass planes, when they disconnect their triangle and take it destroyed by the glass planes, just wind up and hopefully fall inside the river. The, the water flow will then flow all the way there to the little area where the hoppers are, or the singular hopper is, and be funneled right here. It's like a little double chest knot area thing. One just fills, the other one fills up. Well then, yeah, hopefully it works. I should be able, it should be able to be loaded inside within the area. But yeah, that should be it. So, okay, so basically, like, what was it, two days later? Yeah, I think it is two days later. Okay, yeah, two days later, we got our first cacti. Cactus plant. So this does work. It does work. We just have to give it time. Because cacti, if you don't know, grows at a very, very slow rate. Slow rate. And also, well... And also, well, there's a chance that, that some of the cacti do despawn when dropped upon themselves. As if, like, as if, like, if, as if, like, if any block just drops on there, like anything random, it'll despawn immediately. Yeah, but hey, at least it's easy to know this does work. But now we actually have an efficient form of planting cacti. Or create a cacti, alright. But hey, as much as the iron farm. <laughs> Which is the iron farm? Man, hold on. A few days later, let's see what it looks like. Ho ho ho, yes. And hey, that's not the only farm that has been progressing very, very quickly. So how's our wool farm? Which has, it's almost like a full chest. Look at all this wool. That's crazy. And also this one as well. Look at that. I was about to as well. And I'm still kind of amazed that the shears are still able to last this long. That's not amazing. I have to get some of that wool away. Oh well. Hi right, Sugar King Farm, how are you doing today? How's this been producing? Oh yes! Massively producing Sugar King. Alright. Cocoa beans, yeah. I'm not gonna harvest them. I'm just gonna leave it like that. For now. Calculus is fine, fine. The village reader, one of my most proudest projects. Oh yeah, it's definitely working. Look at all the villagers. Hold on. Here it is. Look at these villagers. How many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About nine villagers. Bro, nine villagers, okay. I gotta get I gotta do something with them. Get or, or basically activate the kill switch. Which basically stops to bring the builders all together. And well, we already got the essentials. All we need to do now is basically connect them. Actually, it's probably already connected, sort of. I guess I could just put like random builds here. Cactus, sugar, bamboo farm? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know, it's still a work in progress. Yep, so now we have, so now we manage to have, we have a surplus of wool, I believe. I believe. We're, we're getting a fancy with sugar cane. Iron. We're getting a slow, slow city pace with cacti. And a huge efficiency on villagers. So yeah, I'm proud of that. I think my next spot should be like a storage area because my, because this place is starting to get full of chests. As we speak. And I'll keep saying that. Come on. I think it's become a necessity. I promise I don't know where to put, put the storage area. My, I think my, my initial idea was to put it directly under my island. But yeah, but then I remember there were eels down there. So yeah, it's kind of a no go. Where should it be, by, by all means? Full honesty. It's not in the city. It's not in the city. Here we go. Let's go to the wood castle real quick. Because I don't actually want to see how this works. To us, as a like, gift to someone, I still have to do that. But it's done. Okay, so let's keep a hold of this. It's ordered. Not me. Let's see here. Yeah, no, just, just give, give me something, something. Put it back in your, back in your box, thanks. Okay. But 
there nothing else? Where do you deposit the gift? I need to ask the gift. That's another right chest. Don't know why, but alright. You gotta get to the How does this work? Do I just open the chest and just magically put stuff inside? I think so. Okay, so I guess it's just a matter of waiting for that thing. Actually, I could just give them this cacti. Because I don't really need it anymore, because I have the other ones. You know what? Yeah, let's just give them some of, the, some of our profits. We don't really need the, these anymore. Let's give them like, some of this iron. Here's some of this iron, and what else? I guess I can give them some some of the wool. Alright. Well, I have to. I, have to, I think I have to go Christmas to figure this out. To know how to put stuff inside this little box here. Whether it be something like that, I have no idea. But yeah, I think that's about it for part two. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me guys see how much stuff below. Like and subscribe for more stuff in the meantime. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye for now.